So you remember Doug Hughes, he was uh, the gyrocopter guy. He uh, was so angry about Citizens United and wanted free and fair elections that he wanted to deliver letters. He was, we used to work at the post office. He wanted to deliver letters to Capitol Hill uh, showing uh, that uh, the American people were for free and fair elections and were tired of the corruption. It was a bold effort, a little bit dangerous to land on Capitol Hill with a gyrocopter. Luckily, he was okay and he was unhurt. And nobody else was hurt. Everybody was totally fine. It was uh, an extraordinary act of civil disobedience. Now, we did fairly ordinary acts of civil disobedience uh, very recently, and there were a lot of us arrested over it. But uh, Doug uh, is going to face different consequences. It just happened right before we got on air. He's been sentenced to 120 days in prison. That will be 120 days more than any of the banking executives got who started the biggest crash of our lifetimes, who wrote emails about how they were screwing over their customers, how they knew they were doing it on purpose, who paid billions of dollars in fines for the fraud that they committed. You think with their army of lawyers they would have paid those billions of dollars if they hadn't committed the fraud? But none of them spent a day in jail. But Doug Hughes who says, hey, maybe we shouldn't have this kind of corruption where those bankers buy off our politicians who then let them off the hook and, by the way, bail them out with our money. No, 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 Doug, you're complaining too loud and in the wrong ways. You're going to prison. 120 day sentence. Disgusting. This whole system is disgusting. See, gee, I wonder why government in the latest poll is at a 4% approval rating. Because you're locking up people like Doug Hughes and you're not locking up the people who are committing wide scale fraud and now legally bribing our politicians. Those should be illegal. When you give millions of dollars to a politician or their super PAC, that used to be called a bribe. Now we made it legal and no, millions of dollars handed to a politician so they can get reelected and then after their election or if they serve as in the government in any capacity, then we'll hand them millions of dollars more and they'll get to put that in their pocket. No, that's not a bribe. Doug Hughes, you're crazy for complaining about that. No, no, that's uh, democracy. Well, it turns out Princeton studied 1,800 policy positions over two decades. Public opinion had no correlation to public policy. Doug is right. The system that is now putting him in prison is absolutely wrong. We have lost our democracy. He was trying to help us regain it. For that, they're putting him in prison.